What's going on y'all? This is old Buck, Carolina Crazy Outdoors. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. We got a lot of fun stuff going on this year. Hunting, fishing, you never know what you might see. As you can uh, tell right here, I'm not in the woods. I ain't on the water, but uh, I'm in Coach Chad Lee Parts office, the head coach of the Gilbert Indians. I'm excited he's got me here or let, allowed me to come. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Got Mr. Jai uh, Tolan with us. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Oh, and we got to do it right. We got to do something funny. Yes, <laughs> yes sir. But uh, starting quarterback, um, huge fan of this guy right here. Um, I mean, I get excited. I mean, I came, I missed the first game and uh, I didn't miss the uh, second two. Awesome wins. And I just became a fan of him. Awesome, I'm an awesome guy. Seems to be real humble on the field. I love that about him. And my gosh, what a freaking arm he's got. But we're just gonna kind of get to know these guys. And, uh, you know, and uh, talk a little football. And uh, but anyway, Coach. Yep. You're originally from Gilbert. Yep, I'm originally from here. Uh, born and raised here. Uh, graduated here in 1992, Gilbert High School. And uh, I did move off after college and we coached at some different places. Uh, found my way back here in 2016 with the, uh, when the job came open and I love being back here. Yeah, I know how to be excited. Absolutely. I know everybody was excited. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, if you go into coaching, that's, that's always a big deal one day to come back and coach your alma mater. So. No, I, I can imagine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You always been a Gilbert? Oh, yes, sir. Cool, man. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. You're you a senior this year, right? Yes, sir. Oh, God. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to enjoy this last senior year with him, so uh, that's part of it. Um, Coach, what's some of your hobbies? Uh, about coaching football is about my main hobby, to be honest. Uh, it, it, it takes so much of our time. Um, you know, in the fall here, it's seven days a week for us oh, as man. coaches. Uh, you know, we, we obviously got our five days during the regular week that we're working and practicing and then the game on Friday, but uh, we spend a lot of time Saturday and Sunday doing film and things like that and, and meeting, make sure that we, we're good to go for the next Friday. So uh, that's that's about it. I don't have a lot, but uh, no, I mean, when I do get some time, I mean, I like I like to travel a little bit. We'll go see some different places uh, like fish, um, you know, but that's, uh, I, don't, I don't get as much time of that, you know. And sports is really my hobby when it comes down to it, especially being the athletic director. Here oh, too, I, can, so. I can imagine. Mm -hmm. That's a job there. Absolutely. We got something going on all year long. So. Ain't no doubt about that. Mm -hmm. What about you, Jai? What are some of your hobbies? Uh, probably outside of sports because, you know. You're like I'm a big hunter. hunter. <laughs> I, I'm, actually, I've always wanted really? to hunt. Oh, man. It's not going to hunt But I do like fishing and oh, free yeah. time with my cousin, so. That's sure. cool, man. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Hunting and fishing, that's what I do, too. Yeah. I mean, you know. Yes, it's a good time. Do you only do sports with uh for football or do you uh do anything else? I play basketball too. Do you? Yes sir. I got you. So football and basketball is your main thing. Yes sir. That's cool. And that's the time where I get to relax in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My other hobbies outside yeah. of sports. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Favorite role model, man, in that in the uh, sports and non non sports. Well, uh in sports, you know, really uh my Carolina fans might not like it, but as far as uh, what, I, what I do, I really like uh, Debo Sweeney as far as coach and how he runs his program up there. Um, you know, he, I think all of us in the coaching business can learn a few things from him, whether you a Clemson fan or not. Yeah. Uh, and he certainly was somebody that uh, at one time in that program, they were about to, uh, pro he, he was about to lose his job and, yeah. and things were not looking so good, but he hung in there and, and that administration hung in there with him and, and they got something special now. Um, you know, and and I, and I tell you, one of my favorite players uh, was probably Deshaun Watson. Of course, that's all kind of goes hand in hand with Davo Sweeney there. But uh, you know, Jai reminds me a little bit of him. You know, he's he's very much uh, a humble kid that just goes and does his job and leads by example and and that kind of thing. And um, so, really like uh, both of them. Uh, as far as non-sports, you know. I mean, I, I just got to go with my dad. I mean, that, that's who I learned my work ethic from and uh, taught me what I know and, and that kind of thing. And, and he's the one that, he, he would uh, work his tail off, make sure we had whatever we needed and that kind of thing. And would work, seemed like about three jobs. You know? <laughs> yeah. So um, that, that's, that's somebody that, 
definitely I've always looked up to and learned from. That's good, man. What about you? Uh, Prop Sports. He kind of said it, but it might be Deshaun Watson. Because <coughs> uh, I kind of liked how he played. And about the time he started playing for it, about the time I realized. It was about time for me to start getting serious about sports. <laughs> mm-hmm. So I kind of liked the way he played. And then the last year when they beat Alabama. Oh, man. So I kind of yeah. just loved every moment of that. Yeah. yeah. None of sports, I would probably say. My mom and my aunt. I knew it was going to be a mom. Or, <laughs> I knew it was going to be a woman. I don't know why. I just knew it. <laughs> they just yeah. always push me and then just tell me to always stay positive and just keep yeah. doing the right thing because you oh, yeah. get rewarded eventually. Oh, yeah. You're definitely right. And I agree with you about uh, Dabo. Mm-hmm. What I like is, like, I'm a Carolina fan too. Right. But I like that, you know, Clemson took a chance on that guy. Yep. And, I mean, look how it paid off. It did. It you know? was a big chance, you know. He was he was about an unknown, and, you know. Yeah. And, um, and and like I said, he went through some tough times before they got where they are now. So right. A lot of programs wouldn't have had that patience, you know. Mm-hmm. So I got you. So uh, what's your favorite school, uh, subject in school, one? Uh, it'll probably have to be like probably math. I'd say math. Whoa. <laughs> I am a mad person. Yeah. Yeah, that was not mine either. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, me neither. So you, um, I know back when I was in high school, a lot of the coaches actually teach. Do you do any yeah. kind of teaching or anything? All our assistant coaches teach, and I, and I taught uh, until I come here and became the athletic director. So with our athletic directing duties that um, in Lexington one, we we do that. We're athletic director and football coach, so I don't have to teach. But, but when I taught, I was a social certified social studies, so I taught U.S. history, world history. Mm-hmm. Those were probably my two favorite subjects to teach were the histories as opposed to some of the other social studies classes. I loved history when mm-hmm. I was in school. I loved Coach Nix. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I had him. I, I really right. liked him. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, he's, he's a fisherman, too. Yep, he loves his right. fishing. That's right. So, uh, star quarterback, the star quarterback at Gilbert. What's it like on a just a day at school? I mean, <laughs> um, probably on a daily now. It's just like I think my all my friends like and football players they kind of just like keep it how it usually is. But a lot of people at school now are starting to like just say just like everything to now like they like enjoyed <laughs> the game last week and all this and talk about more football. So yeah, that's good. That's good, <laughs> that's man. How it is every day now. Yeah. Well, I seen this the other day. Uh, it was at the uh, Lexington game. So I went. Uh, I had to feed my stomach. I got hungry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I seen these kids in there arguing over who was gonna be Ja. So, <laughs> oh yeah. So how's it feel knowing that you got a bunch of eight and ten year olds pretty much want to be you right now with yeah. what you got going on? Uh, That's got to be pretty cool, I think. I actually enjoy the moment because they all just like look up to me as a, someone they want to be like. Because I used I to do the same thing around that age. Right, like right. Someone for the local high school. Right. Thank you. And uh, what about the football too? I mean, I want to give credit to you know the offense, the defense, special teams, the coaches, pretty much everybody that involved because it, it's a big team effort. So. Sure, absolutely. You know, it's an entire program. You know, we we always talk about it. We're one big family, and mm-hmm. it takes all of us. You know, doing our part to get it done. Um, you know, whether it's the lineman blocking or guy doing his thing or defense kickers and everybody so yeah everybody kind of has to pull their weight do their part right i know when you got protection back there you'll pick a defensive part <laughs> I mean, I mean, it amazes me i mean even on the run you, and you throw a bullet too i mean them guys i mean credit the receivers because they catch the ball you know most of the time and, yeah but i mean i mean you you're accurate i mean i'm like i told my brother i'm like Man, you gotta come see this guy. I said, he, he is great. He actually came to the election of the game to see you play. Yeah. And uh, he was like, man. And then you done that, it was in the very, it was in the thing in the first half, and you went for a bomb down the right side, of, on the on the visitor side of the field. And I mean, it missed that receiver's hands yeah. like that yeah. much. And I mean, yeah. It didn't, yeah, golly. Yeah. But it was still pretty. I'm high, you know, it was a gorgeous pass. But uh, talk about the old Batesburg game. Batesburg comes out there, Gets a fourteen nothing lead. So how do you get your team? Because we're in the we're in the mm-hmm. seats. We're like, oh my gosh, what's going on? How do you yeah. get everybody like back on? The biggest on thing at that point is we just got to settle down. Uh, you know, they come out intense, ready to play. They threw some different things at us. Uh, you know, so at that point when we're getting behind the eight ball a little bit, we just got to settle down and, and do what we do. And um, that that was probably the biggest thing because when it gets fourteen and nothing. We got we got some guys that's getting a little excited at that point, and but we still gotta 
uh, you know, keep trusting one another, keep believing in one another, keep believing in what we're doing, right. and keep at it. And 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 you, we did start to calm down a little bit there, and we started to get back in it. And I think we made it fourteen seven, but then they went back, scored, you know, made it twenty one yeah. seven, yeah. and uh, so it was. It was still, but I think you could tell, I could tell, and, and I think the guys could tell too, that about midway through that second quarter, Batesburg was, some of the gas was starting to come out of them, and yep. they were, that emotion that they were playing with was starting to come out of them, because that don't last forever, Right. and um, and our guys had, had kept, you know, a level head, with <coughs> them and kept at it, and we started to get control back in the right. game, and then by halftime, you know, we were up by seven, so um, it was... Uh, that that was the main thing is just keeping everybody calm and hey we got this so we we we'll be all right and keep trusting one another. Yeah, big uh, big uh, a big momentum swing I thought was I was like thinking Batesburg is just going to go ahead and run the clock out and go into halftime. They tried yeah. to do something and fumble the ball and y'all run in for a touchdown. Yep. I was hollering, believing I was just screaming because <laughs> I couldn't even believe what I was seeing. I'm like, did that really just happen? Because yeah. I was like, man. You know, that yeah. was a quick, easy seven right there. So. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, we, we called timeout with, you know, it was fourth down for them, and it was maybe um, six, seven seconds left yeah. or something. And called timeout just figuring, well, make them do something. They either going to have to punt it. <laughs> and, you know, and, you know, and I'm thinking, oh, uh, they might snap it over the punter's head. That's why I called timeout. Make them have to make a punt snap. You right, know, that's right. all I'm thinking. And uh, they come out, they weren't gonna punt, and they were gonna go for it. And it was like, well, okay, I guess they think this, if they don't get it, we might have a second or two, we can take a shot here. That's right. Um, but even better than that, uh, our guys came up, popped the guy real good, ball pops out, gets a Sunday hop for oh, John man, Stewart, and right touchdown now. Indians. And it was awesome. It was, um, it was like, that's, well, that's, that's why you do that. That's why you made them run, that's why I made them run that one more play. And yeah, that was, was good, good out. stuff. You out there on, at the quarterback, they go up 14 nothing. How you stay calm, man? Because it looked like it didn't phase you at all. And it might have been different in your head, but it didn't just look like it was like just another day. Uh, I try to stay level and everything for the whole team because they see me put my head down then. More than likely the whole offense, including the defense. Because defense loves watching us on the field. So mm -hmm. if I'm down, then probably the whole team is going to get down. And then they're going to feel like it's over if I'm over. Down. And that's what makes him yeah. such a good leader is because he is that calming influence out mm -hmm. there and he's the one that's we got some like I said, we got some other ones that might be flipping out and about to go crazy and something like yeah. that. But he's not and he's yeah. the one everybody's gonna look up to. And that's what you want that's the way you want your quarterback yeah. to be. And uh just uh cool under fire, um, you know, being that example right there for everybody that, hey, it's gonna be all right, we got this. Oh yeah. yeah and settling everybody down and so he he does a great job at it. Oh, I, I, I mean, you do, man. It's awesome. It's awesome to watch. Um, it really is. Um, so, like, you go into halftime, what kind of message do you give? Well, at that half, you know, with five minutes to go in the half, I'm thinking I'm about to chew everybody out. But uh, we scored 21 points <laughs> in the last five minutes of the second quarter. So, I mean, it's it, we found what we needed to do. And, and it was kind of that same way with the Lexington game going into half. It, it, we, we stumbled a little bit out the gate, but we, we – Figured out, you could tell by in the second quarter, we started figuring out what we wanted to do, what we needed to do. So at halftime is really about, hey guys, this is this is what's working well, and this is what we think is going to work well that, that we haven't done yet. Right. And, and so we kind of go into that, and you know, and, and it's all about at that point finishing the deal. And uh, we felt like in both of those games at halftime, it was a matter of us finishing the, the thing as much as anything else. And, and uh, of course our guys were able to come out and do that. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I tell you what's neat is, I've been at Bridgestone for twenty years now, and there was a time down there I couldn't sit there in a, in a football high school football conversation because they, they, they didn't care about Gilbert football, right. and it's just a fact. And now, when it's Coach Burnett, and when we we won the eighty eight championship in baseball, yep. and then you know, and then it kind of quieted around then, you know, mm -hmm. up until the point Coach Burnett comes on board. Yep. He brought something special on him. He's That's turned right. that baseball Absolutely. program into something major. Absolutely. You know, championships, mm -hmm. you better show up to play ball. And I feel like you've popped back up at Gilbert and you've done pretty much what he has done as far as the football. Right. You put Gilbert football on the map now because I sit down there and them guys talk yeah. about Gilbert football. Right. You know, like, man, you know, right. y'all show up and play ball. And I'm like, yeah, you know, that's Gilbert for it. Yeah. But I'm like, well, what did you do? I mean, because it had to be something. Because you came in here and, it, and things changed dramatically. Yeah, the biggest thing is the, is the work that we changed, the work ethic around here that we kind of changed and put in. And, and it was from everybody, coaches, players on down. 
Um, you know, it, it's, if we wanted to be good, we got to work at it. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was the message we brought in in 2016. And, and I tell you, the credit to those seniors that we had that year, they've been part of doing things another way, but that other way has been a lot of losses. So they, they bought in, you know. Yeah. Sometimes you don't get that when you come in somewhere new, but those guys were willing to, all right, we go work and we'll see what happens. So they worked their tails off. We went 10 and two and, and everybody else from the, the younger kids on down from them kind of, you know, understood <laughs> that, hey, this is what it takes to be successful. And, uh, you know, so, Really, I credit a lot of that to that first group of seniors we had yeah. when I got here of, of setting a standard <coughs> uh, for everybody else, kind of the, the work up to, and, and, and that's making, you know, putting, and then they put Gilbert football back on the map. We, mm -hmm. we, we certainly have won a lot of games in the oh, last yeah. four years, and, you know, and people know who we are when it comes to football now. Yeah, absolutely. So, do you have a moment? Or being a quarterback, you know, or football in general that like stood out like a, like a proud moment? Uh, like when would you? Or are you talking about? Anytime. Uh, like when you've done something successful, you're like that's that's it, or when you got to start a quarterback job, or you know anything. I would feel like a good moment to me was my sophomore year when I was able to play because I was okay. able to see what mm -hmm. I could do. Because hey. before that, I was just feeling like I wouldn't even say I was down, but I just didn't have any boost or confidence after that. So I was just willing to do anything I could to show that. That's good, man. That's, that's real good. Real good. So uh, uh, Lexington comes around. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we beat Batesburg. I was excited about that because I, I got a lot of Batesburg people, friend, friends, you know, we talk smack to each other. Lexington comes around, and I got a lot of friends that are Lexington, you know, went to school at Lexington. They're big Lexington fans, and they all had it pretty much wrapped up a, a win. So how do you go into that game? And you know that, you know, you know that. So how do you go into that game preparing your uh, your players? Well, I, you know, we talked about the opportunity to get to play them. Yeah. Uh, you know, we've, it's been almost 50 years of Gilbert football and Gilbert and Lexington has never played before until last year. So, you know, we talked about what this opportunity was and we can't, we can't let it slip by us because think of all the guys that came before you that didn't ever get a shot to play Lexington on a Friday night that would have loved to have played Lexington in football on Friday night and didn't get to. And, you know, or those seniors that had their one shot last year and it didn't happen. So, you know, that, that was the kind of thing we talked about is, uh, you know, hey, this is a great opportunity right here, the big 5A school, the big brother, whatever you want to call them, the big school down the road. Mm -hmm. um, you know, here's our chance to get them, you know. And, uh, and our guys took that to heart and, you know, got it done. You, you did. You definitely did that. So, uh, how do you keep your composure on the field, man? Cause like the baseball game, <laughs> yeah, I think you to fumble the first snap or drop yeah. the first snap. Drop it. How do you, how do you regroup from that? Cause I, I know I fell to pieces on that. That'd, that'd have probably been it. You didn't take me out of the game. Uh, I know your coach is going to tell you to keep your head up as a player. Yeah. All of that's going to hear you. Just like you can't even hear. You just cancel it all out. But I think I do a pretty good job of keeping my own head humble. Cause yeah. If I panic, then it's over. So it's over for myself as well, because after you lose it, you just lose it completely. And then the the rest of the team follows the leader. Yes, sir. Okay. Um. So the Friday nights is going by quick. Do you ever think about it out there? Every time you hit the field, it's it's, it's going by fast. I just think about it every time I'm out there. I just enjoy every minute of it. That's good. You uh plan on doing it, pursuing any kind of college ball? Uh, I hope so. I hope so too. Yeah. <laughs> We're hoping so. We're thinking something's going to work out here. He's playing too well not to. I'll be honest with you, and I made a comment on Facebook the other day. I, I was like, somebody give this guy a Carolina jersey and throw him <laughs> in the field because yep. we need all the help we can get. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I promise you, you do just as good, if not better, than what we got going on. Let's say. Yeah. But, uh, so how does it feel, man, when you look up at the, in the stadium, you see a packed house at home and away? Yeah, it's, it's awesome. I mean, it, it gives you – it gives you that little something extra on Friday night when you see that kind of support. Uh, I'm sure it does with our kids too. Um, you know, that's when I came back here. That's one of the things I wanted. I, I wanted these kids to experience what I did when I played here in the early '90s, and we we had a real good run of teams then, and we played for a lower state championship two years in a row. And man, it was something. All the people that were at our games and how big it was, the electricity you feel in the air. And, 
uh, you know, that was one of my things when I come here. I said, man, I want that for these kids. I want them to experience that. that Gilbert football hasn't always been the way it was those, those right. few years, you know, and, and it, it can be something <coughs> special. It has been before. It's just been a long time. But mm -hmm. I remember it. I was there. Yeah. And uh, so we, you know, getting that back, obviously, is take a lot of pride in that. And, and just it's awesome for our guys to get to play in front of a crowd that supports them like, like we do here. Right. Um, I mean, even when I'm at an away, in an, at an away game, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I'll sit in the stands when we're home, and I'm like, even Lexington, they don't yeah. pack that stadium. Gilbert on an away game, they'll be standing room only at an away stadium. Yeah, and that's a big deal. There's been, there's been times when we've played on the road, and we'll have more people there yeah. than the home team. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I know it's got to be jacked up for you as a player, hearing that fans get rowdy and just <laughs> jacked up and ready to roll. Every moment. Oh, man, I can only imagine. I mean, that's got to be a lot of excitement. Golly, that's one regret I have in school was not playing football. I, I hate it. I, I can't re redo right, it. Right. So, you know, you need to enjoy it because there's like people like me wish they could have done it. So, yep. enjoy and love every moment of it because you never know when it's going to be gone. You know? Absolutely. So, uh, you know. um, so, you got a lot of parents, you know, their kids show interest in football. And it's, a, you know, let's be honest, it's a more dangerous sport than yeah. baseball or anything or, right. you know, golf. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, uh, not knocking you golfers. I know a lot of you <laughs> golf. But uh, how do you tell a parent, you know, hey, you know, let them do what they want to, you know, enjoy that, you know, experience in high school football? Or, yeah, yeah. I mean, high school football is, is a great experience and you learn so many things from it. And uh, you can get hurt playing high school football, but you can also get hurt playing baseball and these other sports as well. Uh, we try to do everything we can to, to make sure these guys are safe. We're probably one of the only high schools in, in, in the area and maybe even the state that wear the guardian caps at practice on our helmets to, that like the colleges wear to cut down on concussions. And, you know, we haven't had any at practice with, with those on our, on our heads since we bought them this year. We put all our linemen in knee braces. I mean, we, we do try to do things, go that extra mile to keep them, keep them safe. And, Makes mamas feel better for sure, and uh, but it also, you know, it helps with productivity. You know, if, right. if we keep them healthy, then they can play. If they're not healthy, they can't play. Yeah. So, you know, it's a, uh, you know, we we do all we can to keep our guys safe as we can, and we got a great training staff too. With Coach Millwood, Coach Witt, and PJ to uh, look after our kids as well, and so. You know, we, we go, you know, all those people out there that's considering, you know, we trust us, we, we go take care of them. And, um, and, and football is still, a, it's still a good thing for sure. Right, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. Like I said, I wish I'd have played. Um, so you're on the field, man. You're, I mean, I ain't never been out there. I can't yeah. say I experienced it. Yeah. Um, a lot of trash talk on the other side of the line. <laughs> uh, it's a lot over there. Mostly the <laughs> receivers do the talking. Oh, ah, okay, yeah. They don't really talk to me. <laughs> most, time, most time defense is just like congratulating me. Like, it's really? shocking though. You think they try to get it to me, but mm, yeah, yeah. Most time it'd be the receivers talking back for them, and then they just saying good job or something to me. So I'm like, okay, I'm just like confused why they wouldn't say anything to me. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I get it. Um, I talk about how humble you are out there on the field. Like the only time I think I ever seen you get excited was uh, and I don't know the receiver's name, but you pitched it off to one of the receivers and he threw threw for uh, threw for a touchdown, and uh, I think. I don't remember what his name is, but he's a he's he's good. Now he's fast. Um, he caught a couple of touchdowns in the Lexington yeah, game. Oh, probably Alec Holt. That's probably who it is. Mm -hmm. But you know, he went over there and jumped up in your arms. I'm like, yeah. I say, man, he's showing some excitement right there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so I look at the schedule today, mm -hmm. and obviously anybody can show up any given day and beat you, and that sure. that's just the reality of sure. it. Because I did play sports, it's not football. Yeah. But you look at the schedule, and I'm confident about the schedule. But then you got a team like Dillon down the road. How do you prepare? Because it seems like they're a powerhouse every year. Oh, they are. I mean, I've crossed paths with them when I was at Swansea yeah. and Strom Thurmond, and, and of course we have here two years ago. Um, and, and we got a long way to go to get there. You know, we got some we got some big fish to fry before we get to them. <laughs> I promise you. But uh, but that, they're a well coached team. They have a lot of a lot of really good athletes on their team, and um, you know, but um, certainly. Uh, we, we just have to worry about getting better every week so that when that time comes, we'll cross paths with them, and it'll, it'll be a great thing because mm -hmm. I tell you what, they love their football, we love our football, oh, yeah. and if we get together, it's going to be a huge game. <laughs> oh, I can't. Yeah, I, can, I can promise you. Yeah, <laughs> definitely, definitely, yep. definitely. It's exciting stuff, man. Yeah. Um, 
what's the like what do you think our biggest thing is on the football team far as our biggest success as far as you know passing team running team right now i feel like we're you know we're a passing team is kind of what we are and i think the stats probably show that out you know, his stats by the way you know we just put him in this this week for three games he's 73 of 101 which is an outstanding obviously over 70 percent completion percentage he's thrown for over a thousand yards in three games I think it's like a thousand and twenty, maybe three games and, uh, and three games, mm -hmm. and then uh, he's thrown ten touchdown passes and no interceptions. So, uh, you know, we've certainly thrown for a lot more than we've ran the ball. And yeah. in years past, I've I've always kind of been more of a run first guy, but that likes to throw the ball too a little bit. But um, I think with the personnel that we have this year, you know, you always uh, try to shape the offense around the personnel you got, and and so. We got a got a pull the trigger like Jai, and we got four wide receivers. Actually, we probably got five or six that can all catch the football and make mm -hmm. a play with it. And um, our O line does pretty good at pass protection, so that's kind of where we fit in, and um, it's kind of what's working best. So I'd have to say this year, that's that's kind of what we are. Right. So, man, and it makes for a lot of fun because it's <laughs> a lot of fun playing that kind of football. It's a lot of fun watching <laughs> it. I'm gonna tell you, it's a lot of fun watching it because yeah. it makes my day. At the moment, I'm like, okay, they're not gonna run the ball, and I'm thinking something <laughs> big's about to happen. And I mean, I mean, you just gun them ball. I, mean, I don't know how you do it. I mean, you throw a bullet because a lot of uh, quarterbacks they don't have that. There's a lot of room for interceptions, right? And I think the way you throw that ball, it, it a lot of that goes away because I mean, I mean, dude, when you when it leaves your hand, it's there. I mean, they ain't got time to get to the ball. <laughs> And uh, you got all some receivers catching the ball too. I mean, yeah. and they get open too. I'm like, mm -hmm. man, I think, I mean, that, I think sometimes I can hit some of them. <laughs> but, uh, we try to get them that open. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, sometimes man, um, well, I just want to do this because I'm excited about you know Gilbert football. I love it. Um, I wanted to put this here together because I think everybody deserves to see who you are and know who you are because mm -hmm. a lot of people in the stands is you're that guy and that's not mm -hmm. knocking nobody in the stands because right. they don't know people by first name basis mm -hmm. but you know kind of gets you know people get a feel of who you are and how you are very humble guy I mean awesome quarterback I hope he plays college ball I don't see why he wouldn't because he's awesome you know a great coach um obviously that that's a fact because like I said when he came aboard I mean just it just turned he, it was pretty much the burn in of, you know, with baseball. He's pretty much that with football. That's a so, oh, yeah. We're going to wrap this thing up, man. So I'm going to let you say something. Uh, kid out there watching this interested in football, what would you tell him? Play. It's the best sport going. Um, you know, you got – takes 11 guys uh, all going in the same direction to make a, make a play work on offense and, and defense as well. And, and, it, and it's a sport that – uh, kids of all body types and abilities can can help and contribute, you know. Um, so it's a, there's a place for everybody. You know, we got the big linemen, we got the little quick people. It's a, it's a it's a place for everybody on a football team for sure. So, right. And uh, it's a lot of valuable lessons you learn with football, be it through hard work and discipline and and being on a team and being a part of something bigger than yourself uh, that that'll carry you a long way in life. I I do believe that about football. Yeah. Yeah. I can I can definitely agree with that. I've already been told you to quiet time, so <laughs> I'm gonna let you have your own opportunity. Kids that are wanting to play ball, man, what, what would you tell them to get them to get out on the field? I would tell them just go for it because that's how I was at first. I was so scared to play. I would hate it every day because going into it, I didn't even play quarterback. I was a receiver, so you don't throw it all in directly. So you're just basically a lineman. Mm -hmm. You just block <laughs> yeah. it at that point. Yeah. So especially out there, I was just like all oh, in my head. I'm not gonna play anymore, but. I'm glad my mom did push me to keep going. That's after good. that, I that's enjoyed good. it for the rest of the day. Look where you are right now. Oh, man. I mean, really. I mean, that's awesome. How did you convert? Because you just said you didn't play quarterback. How did you convert over? Like, I mean, what made you get to that point of being a quarterback? Um, I feel like at the time, I was the only one throwing, like, past 30 at my <laughs> age. So, I was like, yeah. I was like, I think I should try this because I might actually have fun. And then I just always felt like I was better than the guy in front of me, so mm -hmm. I just tried it anyways. And wow. It's been nothing but fun now. Oh, man, I, can, I, I <laughs> love it. I got a son. I hope he plays ball. So, you know, I think he will, but you I just never know. Sure. Oh, yeah, definitely. All right, man, we're going to wrap this up. Like I said, I want to appreciate yep. Coach.
Chad uh, allowed me to come up here, and I appreciate Mr. Jai yes, for coming in here and talking with us, man. Because listen, if you like Gilbert, you any, even if you don't even like Gilbert football, go, man. Because the atmosphere, I mean, it's amazing. I mean, it's almost like class reunions and stuff. Yeah. I mean, so many the people that <laughs> yeah, you're gonna yeah. know. I mean, you're not gonna be there not know nobody. <laughs> but uh, sure. but serious. On, I mean, if you want to go see some good football, and I mean, awesome quarterback. You need to get to the Gilbert game because. Like and this guy here has me jacked up. I mean, I cannot <laughs> wait to the next game. I mean, it, I mean, it's killing me. It's killing me. I mean, I hate I gotta wait. Yeah. But um, like I said, we got um, some some good games coming up. Um, who we playing next? We got Airport this airport. Friday over there at their place, and gotcha. and then we got to travel. We're gonna be on the road next three weeks. We got Airport this Friday. Got to go to Dreer High School after that, and then Big one with River Bluff after that. Oh uh, so, yeah. Yeah, River Bluff. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Just right. stay confident, man. That's all yes, we sir. can do. Yep. But uh, anyway, hope y'all enjoyed this. I had a blast talking with these guys. Um, make sure you subscribe to my channel because you never know when you're gonna see something that ain't hunting and fishing. Because <laughs> I mean, you know, I talked with Jada Garris the other day. You know, we heard election school district one. That was a lot of fun. But uh, anyway, y'all have a good day, man, and take it easy. Peace. Man, I appreciate it. Yeah, man. That was good, man. Exactly. I appreciate yeah, the heck out of that. Good. That's be awesome. Yeah, that's that's good. I mean, y'all deserve it. I mean, this is, exactly. you know, somebody and somebody told me the other day, like, you need to go talk with them, see if you can uh, talk with them. Cause, <laughs> yeah. And I was like, well, hey, I might as well. Because I was like, <laughs> I knew Lori, uh, yeah. Waters Gunner. I was like, yep. Send her a message. She directed me to her, and I'm like, "Hey, why not ask me?" Yeah, all these people love Gilbert football out here in this <laughs> community. So I mean, they, they come to the games on Friday night, so they probably oh yeah, you know, they enjoy, enjoy the interview and stuff. And good, good job with it. it that's good. If you ever want to go hunting, you let me know. I'm going. Uh, I'm leaving tomorrow night. I ain't going to be going all weekend gator hunting. So. Are you? Where are you going down Georgetown way? Santee. Santee. Yeah, I gator guide. So uh -huh. I got a bunch of tags to fill. So. I might take you up on that one. Oh, I've never glad done that. All I've done is watch swamp people, though, you know, but that <laughs> looks like it'd be. We got a now, tag. My buddy you know, Clint, of course, has gone a million times. He, I, he's told me all about it, too. So. <laughs> Why well, hog him? <laughs> yeah, man, he's, he's a lot of fun. Yeah. He's a lot of fun. Man, we hog, he's something else, boy. I tell you. <laughs> I love his, I love when he cracks a joke. And he, yeah. It's just the funniest thing. He's a linebacker coach at White Knoll, guy. He coached with me at Swansea. He's from Gilbert, the guy we're talking about. Mm -hmm. He texted me the other day and asked me how we were doing against uh, Lexington. I said, man, we got a nail biter going on right now. <laughs> and I said, you know, we text her. I guess he texts whenever he ain't at halftime or ain't got nothing going on time out or something. You know, he's a good guy. <laughs> but, uh, man, you keep what you're doing because, I mean, you got a lot of people excited. I know you humble. You may not even realize it, but you got a lot of people excited about football, yeah. man. It's, it's, it's fun to watch it, mm -hmm. you know. You know, that is one thing you kind of mentioned in there, you know, like the people don't really – no guy, so that's what is good about this. People get to see him talk and hear him, what he <laughs> what he likes and all that. But yeah. you know, that's the neat thing about Gilbert, is that when we have our games, it ain't just mamas and daddies coming out there. Right. You know, so many places, that's all that comes to the game. That's it. And, 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 but this is the whole community. They coming out there, so yeah, they don't really know who the kids are. It don't matter. They coming out there to see Gilbert. Right. But then, you know, they that's obviously exactly get right. their favorite watching y'all play and stuff. They're like, oh, like you know, like, you know, and stuff like that. But they really don't. No, <laughs> y'all, you know, because they, they, you know, that kind of thing. But they're, they're kind of like, you know, just like Clemson fans go to the Clemson game. Yep. They're like, Carolina fans go to the Carolina game. Panther fans right. go to that game. You know, it's, it's kind of like that. They come in to see the Indians play. That's right. I mean, they could pass it's, you at Walmart and they wouldn't mm, even right. know. It's, it's not like that at every high school. Right. Anymore. It used to right. be like that a lot, but it's not like that. And when, when you're a Gamecock fan, listen, just go for football is brought a lot of <laughs> <laughs> Made me excited. Yeah, get, get, get excited in the fall now. <laughs> yep. I wish yeah. we'd had all that on camera. Yeah. That was a good talk there. I yeah. love talking.